Strega. I know. She... you don't know. She's my nemesis. She... Why does she want the gate key? She's not gonna find the sepulchre anyway. She doesn't need to. Her aim is to prevent us from finding it. And now she has the upper hand. And we failed. So you're ready to give up, Uncle. After your life was destroyed, you couldn't see fit to rest until you destroyed mine and Angelina's as well? I'm going to find Strega. We are going to find Strega and the Angel's Tears. And see this through to the end. William, what are we going to do? We're going to head north to the Denmark Strait. There we will find the Stone Sepulcher. But Strega's got the key. I trust her hatred. And Nat's. She won't rest until he's dead, or the other way around. Your ancestor was a wise man. He knew the Bions were planning against our people. I believe he read their future by reading their computers. But our generation can only see the present and the past. Yeah, McGregor knew what the future held, which is why he founded the Bond. Only now, after 500 years, does it seem like we're ready to fight the enemy. Whoever that is. The Bions. No. Something else. Listen. Nat and me. We're all that's left of the Bond. When Nat recognized your ship's sign, that pair of wings, he realized you might be the chosen one. That's why we seized you, William. I'm sorry. For you, and for Angelina. I think it's time to head north. Strega attacks again. That will be my moment. Because one of us has to die. You still have a choice, Nat. You don't need to kill each other. You know the reason. Her betrayal. My son. What happened to him? He delivered an allied attack plan to the Bionic Central Unit at the Servion. So they killed him. The Bions? Why would they kill one of their allies? My son wasn't an ally. He was acting on his mother's orders, in the belief that he was doing something good for mankind. She had lied to him, and the Bionce knew that Gabriel was not a friend of theirs. Had he known that he was working for them, he would never have taken the job. Gabriel. My son, William. Your cousin. What should I do with the Angel's Tears? They belong not to you, but to all of mankind. McGregor was a man of great foresight. There will be plenty of riches for you and the crew. And now, I must prepare for the moment to come. You will kill her. Yes. But even if I am not successful, at least my death will give me back my freedom at last. Crimson, man. I mean... Captain Crimson, yeah. I heard you're the boss of your own boat again. Man, that's how it's gotta go. Yes, it's not the trip I thought I was going to be taking, though. Take it easy, man. We've all been there. Me, for example. 
I just went to knock back a tsunami booster and got mixed up in a big brawl with Singen's men. Bang! There was no way out after that. Fortunately, Mei Ling found me and hooked me up with Amitab. Mei Ling. Yeah, cold broad. But don't hold a grudge against her. She's a Ronin. People like that, man, their pride's more important than their own life. You didn't take her seriously, so pow! After all this, and we're so close. Yeah, well, I hope some shitty sea god takes pity on us and shows us mercy. What do you think? How many credits will we get? Enough, Stony. I'm just wondering how many shares there'll be. Shit. There will still be five. Well, let's hope so. You know they say the smaller the number, the bigger the booty. But I still wish the others were here. Amitab, Angelina, Mayday... Yeah. But there's only five of us. The time has come. Strega is sending her officers. Is she with them? I think so. I'll take the Eerie. Uncle Nat, think about it. You're still not fully healed. That museum took a lot out of all of us. No. I'm going to finish this. I owe it to Angelina as well. Yes. It's like she said. Everyone has a melody that makes them dance. I know. We must not let Angelina's song... It's never going to fade. I'll carry it with me for the rest of my life. I know, my boy. <laughs> That's what happens to those who follow the tracks of an angel. I don't know. I don't believe the tracks of an angel always lead to ruin. Huh. <laughs> My grandmother took the opposite view, however. William, your father loved you dearly, but he couldn't live anymore. He didn't want to after your mother's death. <laughs> He'll be very proud of his son. I thought you didn't believe in life after death. Well, now that the end is near, whatever may come, it's a reassuring thought that my brother Alonso, your mother, and Angelina may be waiting for me. I see. But don't get too sentimental.
No, Fuzzy Head. It's rough. You've lost all your companions. It's faint consolation, William, but time heals all wounds. This too shall pass. Yeah, I guess. Time. I managed to recover Nat's body. He's resting down there, beside Amitab. Why did this have to happen now when we're so close? We're still alive, William. Remember that. Life is what counts, not the legend. But I do believe that the Angel's tears are critical. Perhaps even more so than we can imagine. For Nat, revenge became the most important thing. Yes. It's difficult to believe in a cause. Revenge is so concrete, so passionate. And now he's become a victim of it himself. Strega will do everything she can to retain the upper hand. After Nat's death, she must be feeling invincible. I'm going to take Nat's revenge as my own, Fuzzy. As my heritage. You want to fight her? What else is there? Go back? To where? Home? That's a pretty picture. You, me, stony, and animal. A home. <laughs> There's no home for me without Angelina. William, promise me you'll do what's right. The Angel's tears are more important than Nat's revenge. No. Like you just said, life is more important. do, brother? What I think you'll do? Yes, Animal. I'm going to kill Strega. Then I'm going to save my crew. What about the treasure? Well, we're going to salvage it. Tell me, what do you live for? I don't know. What about Fuzzyhead? For the treasure. And Stony? He's homeless. Sad. He doesn't care. Well, I don't either. You understand? I see, brother. Yes. There's nothing so dangerous as a man who's not afraid to die. Then let's get ready. 
They're here. So I guess we have to face them now. Yes. We could give up. Do you think we should, Stoney? No, man. I think we should go out there and end this nightmare. I agree. Straga or us? Yeah. Straga. Nephew, do you really intend to face us with Old Fuzzy, a crawler, and that blockhead Stony? I intend to face my destiny. <laughs> Your destiny? You mean the angel's tears? Forget it. No, I mean you. I'm going to begin where Nat left off. I'm going to kill you. My, how melodramatic. You must have gotten that from your mother. But you also seem to have inherited the pig-headedness of the De Granadas. I always hated Nat for his stupid stubbornness. He acted on behalf of a higher ideal. Which got Angelina killed. I'm waiting for you. Your death will make the oceans more pure. As you please. Oh, one other thing. It doesn't matter whether you're for or against the enemy, as you refer to the Bions. The wave is already rushing towards us. No man, no woman, no child, no one on this planet will be able to escape. Unless they figure out how to ride that wave. Well, I wouldn't worry about catching that wave, Strega, because you won't live to see it.
sorry, but we had to make you believe I was dead. Matt, he was chained to the legend, but I don't care anymore. I'm breaking my oath to make you suffer torment. Now let's kill that she-devil. That little bitch is alive? Well, then allow me to unite you both in an unholy conflagration. took the teeth out of that bristling dragon, all right. Angelina, has she docked yet? I have to... How do I look? Completely natural, man. Like a freaking hero just ran off with a Grim Reaper sickle. You look cool. Really? I've, I've got to talk to her. She's alive, Stoney. We're alive. We're alive! Yeah. The surviving five. Animal, Fuzzy, Stoney, Crimson, and Angelina. Let's get that treasure. Huh. It'll be easier than digging clams. William. I feel so guilty. I suspected that Angelina might still be alive, but Nat forbade me to... I know, Fuzzyhead. The legend. The one who finds the grave must survive torment before he will be able to recover the treasure. Now Angelina has broken with the legend. She's come back. And saved my life. Don't hold it against Nat and me. We were so chained to the legend. Faith in the prophecy carried knowledge of the angel's tears across centuries. Yet now, only Angelina's break with prophecy will allow us to recover what we so desperately sought. Without her... I'd be dead. And none of us would ever find the angel's tears. We don't have them yet, Fuzzy. I know. But now, William... Angelina is waiting for you. You're alive! My God, and you saved me. I'm so sorry, William. It... I've been so stupid. I thought I needed to make you believe I was dead. Only then would the... Forget the prophecies. We're past that. You're past that. You're... William? William, what's wrong with you? I feel a bit dizzy. My heart. That was the best gift of my life. You coming back to me. I told you, you shouldn't and you can't save me. In the situation we were in, you were right. Can you hear that, Angelina? What? A ship? No, a song. But this time, only a single melody. Ours. Promise me that we'll leave the past behind. Promise me that you'll take us into the future. I'll always be by your side. A man from the Atlantic, a woman from the Pacific. <laughs> and a brave gang of treasure hunters. We'll adopt them all. Animal, too. <laughs> Especially Animal. You're so close now. And I'm no longer afraid of death or life. Can you remember... What do you believe in, William Drake? Now I know. 
now we're going to see things through to the end. I've heard that the angel's tears can be used to melt things besides hearts. Then let's find that grave. I don't think we're going to find a grave, Angelina. What do you mean? What else would there be? I think we'll find something bigger. My ancestor was a shipwright, you know. Well, do you have the gate key aboard? Yes. <laughs> something my grandmother used to say just crossed my mind. What? What did she say? Grandmothers can be very wise, you know. It's the hidden things that form our reality. You must never be too close to what's going on around you. You can comprehend a whole seamount only from a distance.
performed its magic, emitting an electro-weak signal that triggered the locking mechanism to open the gates. I had survived, as had many hopes and fears. What awaited me behind these gates? Would I find myself overwhelmed by the spirit of the 22nd century? Would I happen upon traces of my ancestor? And would I find the angel's tears? I steered into the heart of darkness, docked and disembarked. It was a shipyard, and in front of me I could see the gigantic work of William Drake McGregor, Earl of Midlothian. Here his mind had been at work. Here the visions he and his friends shared had become reality. Here they might have founded the bond whose rules we have been following. There lay his last ship, the Revelation, for centuries silent. My reverence at the sight of her gave me chills. Revelation. The Revelation. But the shipyard, large as it was, was only a part of what awaited me. I became afraid. The weight of five hundred years of silence and secrets overwhelming me. An icy fear took hold. Would I ever see Angelina and the others again? Was a revelation waiting for me, or... But it was so different. Here I could feel the presence of an unusual... Grandmother's old stories suddenly crossed my mind. So this was where McGregor had taken the strange creature. I wandered through the foreign world, the blood pounding in my head. The excitement and fear made my heart beat like a machine on the verge of breakdown. The complex was huge. Apparently, McGregor had been the head of a gigantic corporate research and engineering facility. Just the discovery of such a fortress untouched from surface times would bring us billions of credits. But it wasn't the thought of all that money that haunted me. There was something else. I could feel myself drawing ever closer to the center of my life. I checked the breathing gas and found the pressure bearable. I took off my helmet and, for the first time, breathed air from a time long gone. McGregor had known someone would come and he had provided for them. Five hundred years later. An old-fashioned fusion reactor was apparently supplying the whole facility with energy. I had finally arrived. Here, the secret of the second angel awaited me. And the second angel sounded and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed, said the records. I had no idea what that meant. Something would fall into the sea and change it, destroying its inhabitants. The angel looked sad and patient as if it had taken little effort to wait so long. From Aqua's data channels, I knew what I saw in front of me. An antique pendulum clock used long ago in surface times. I did not know who or what caused me to swing the pendulum, but I no longer had control of my own senses or of what would happen to me. Far away, I heard a melody. It seemed strange, yet so familiar, and then beyond.
more than that. The angel's tears. I could feel my hands start to tremble. What was it? The capsules radiated warmth, and a longing I had never known arose within me. The beach. The angel's face. More than a dream. More than a dream. I looked around me. Suddenly I knew that I wasn't alone in this place. Something was waiting for me. Next door. A place not of this world. Ice. Not of this world. The creature. My mind reeled. It was just as my grandmother had said. I looked at it closely and beheld a visage of evil. Angelina! My eyes were blind, but I could hear Angelina burst into the room. I knew she wouldn't leave me alone, and I was grateful when I felt her presence. The ice had gone, but the creature was alive. I had no idea what had just happened. Dream, truth, and vision were swirling through my mind and reality was far more horrifying than I imagined it could be. I heard Stony, Animal, and Fuzzy Head docking below. Stony was shouting enthusiastically. The whole complex, my heritage, was of inestimable value. But still, the angel's tears, when I think back now, a year later, their true value, their true meaning, exceeded our wildest dreams we buried Amitab and my uncle Nathaniel de Granada in my ancestor's shipyard. There they would remain silent guardians over what the future would come to know as the greatest mystery of mankind. I realized that the vessel in my ancestor's shipyard bore the name of Revelation for a reason. This place, the angel's tears, all would be significant for me and my friends in the distant years to come a significance that was impossible for me to see back then. There we stood, the five survivors. We had followed the angel's tracks across the oceans, and now the angel's tears were safely stowed in my smart suit. In this place, past and future met, I heard a voice in my head. It was the voice of William Drake McGregor, Time progresses just as evolution does. There is never a way back. That is our blessing and our curse. Times of horror and happiness awaited us. We had been part of an incredible story that no man would write lest the terror of it drive his ancestors mad. My friends and me, Angelina, we faced the madness together, but still we didn't really understand. Yet what I've told you is nothing compared to what was in store for us. We have become rich. Because of the angel's tears, we live like dukes of the clan's union. And we have power. The greatest power ever known to man. But I know someone is after us. A devil in the guise of a man. A mercenary who has already brought weapons to bear against us. Someday he will appear in front of our palace intent on ending our lives. I know his name, and you, you know his name as well, but that is another story. <laughs>